You're as famous a person as I could ever imagine there being. I just can't imagine there's someone more famous than you. Um, and you've been famous now for a long time. But you also, it seems, control your environment of that art very carefully and, and with a lot of thought and with a good team of people and, and tr people you trust. Is fame isolating for you? It's isolating for me. I don't, I, I mean, I, I mean. I don't like it, personally. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I, I could think of a single thing that's more isolating than being famous. But yet we both sought it. We, we didn't seek the fame, we, we saw the you art. You know, I, and I know it's, it's almost impossible for people even to probably even look at my career and the things I've done and think, oh, she didn't want, you know, of course she wanted to be famous, of course she wanted all that attention, you know, that, but, you know, it's just c creative expression is what I am. And I would have been doing this whether I became famous or not. I still would be doing what I do. I just, what I'm saying is I wouldn't have given up to try to get famous in another way. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. I just wanted to get a job being creative, and I did. And I think the hardest thing for me is that I love people so much. And it is very hard to um, not be able to engage with people in a real and honest way. Because they want? Because they either want something oh, from me. they want something. Or they see me as something that I simply am not. I am not some goddess that dropped down from the sky to sing pop music. Uh, I'm not some extra incredible human person that d needs to be told how wonderful they are all day and, and kissed and, and told how incredible. I don't need any of that. Truly my purpose on this earth is to make people happy through and heal people through music. That's what I am to do, uh, to create fantasies that allow people to not just escape, but to see that there is the potential for magic in life. You know, I would love more than anything when I meet people to just have a normal exchange with them, you know, more than a, my picture taken I know, or but a what selfie. They, but, but that's what the problem is that it, we've become digitalized. We've become these it was the, the you know the new version of the autograph is the is the selfie which is you know when i'm on selfie duty I, there's nobody better at taking them and i grab the phones out of their hands i'm like here ba, 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 right. ba. but ultimately it it is and it's been talked about forever it, it, it is a piece of property there is some idea that that is some evidence that they have met you and taken a moment with you, like taken digitally Yes, and you know, actually, when you decide to take a picture, do you realize the moment has just died? Oh, of course it is. I think that I hope through, you know, the more work that I do and the more that I create that I can, you know, be a part of changing that, not just for myself, but for, you know, other artists and that we can all, you know, um, support each other and you know, changing fame culture a bit as well and hopefully inspiring people to see that, like, we are real people that just love to, Yeah, I don't, I you don't, know, I, make I, art. I, I think you can make the change in the culture the way you have with your art. I don't think we can then kind of turn it back on itself and say we now need to change the actual fame culture. I think you can change the song as an example of the, the profound amount of change that can come from art. I think in our lifetime, uh, somehow that's not going to change. Um, I'll make a bet. Okay, I'm betting with Lady Gaga on make national television. <laughs>